Hi, Leo. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for your support. We are going to go ahead and get into a love reading for the sign of Leo. I did already start this, but in true retrograde fashion, my uh, phone died. So I am starting this over. So I already have some cards pulled for you guys. But anyway, I want to say thank you so much for all the support. The phone readings have been great. I went ahead and opened up some 15 minute slots for you guys because it felt felt like some of you guys just needed a little bit more time on the phone. So I did open up some 15 minute readings if you want to check that out. Also, check out the Life Purpose Vocational Report. You will get a complimentary Life Purpose reading with me if you book that reading. It is in the link below. It is by you clicked. And it is a very detailed report helping you figure out who you are, what your life purpose is, and how you can get on the right track, okay? So at least check it out. It is in the description box, all right? So your cards that already came out third. Okay, so I just realized I can't put this into the screen because she literally has no clothes on. So thirst is your card, okay? It says obsession pouring into a cup that will yield no satisfaction. This tree will bear no fruit. Yeah, I definitely have to be mindful because for some reason, the card that I have always have some nudity. All right. So we have the king of wands, self-assured, proud, focused, and red-blooded. So this very well could be your energy, Leo, or this could be somebody you're dealing with. Of course, they could be a fire sign like you. They could be a Scorpio, a Capricorn. Yeah, those are the, the king of wands energies for me. Your princess is in another castle, settling for good when there is great elevating and making changes as life evolves. So this feels like somebody who may be in another situation right now, um, as far as like, you know, a relationship, they don't feel satisfied. Now they may not even know you exist. I want to put, put this, you know, out in the world that this may not be your ex that you cut off and is in a new relationship. This could be somebody who you haven't met yet. Maybe they're in a relationship they're unfulfilled in that relationship, but they haven't left that yet. That is going to answer the question for some of you out there who are wondering where your person is and they haven't shown up yet. They could be in another relationship for some of you. But, you know, another group of you, this is the person that you have disconnected from and they are with someone else or um, they've always been with somebody else. And maybe you just didn't want to play, you know, that position anymore. We'll say that. You wanted more from this person and they weren't willing to give you that. So you may have disconnected from this person. So this is somebody who is settling uh, and literally the card says settling for good when there is great elevating and making changes as life evolves. So basically what that means is this relationship may have suited your person at one point in their life but it's not anymore. It's time for them to evolve. Okay. Now this could also be you, Leo. So keep that in mind that the King of Wands could be your energy. You could be in a relationship where you know that you're not fulfilled. Okay. The other Oracle says, I lose myself inside my mind, disconnecting from the world to connect with yourself, a journey inward, self-imposed solitude. So this is like the hermit card. Exactly. So some of you guys may be coming to the conclusion that you are better off alone. Uh, this could be you literally being happy with the fact that at least I'm not in a relationship with somebody who drags me down. I may be single, um, but I'm powerful because the King of Wands and the Hermit, I mean, this is like a King of Wands, but uh, like a star, but that is put in solitude, obviously self-imposed solitude, like the card says, but you're still the King of Wands. You're still the Queen of Wands, you know, you still have that power. You're just laid back right now because you know, you deserve the best. You know, you're not looking for anything less than what you really want and what you deserve. So um, I'm kind of getting it could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. OK, so let's pull an oracle from my deck that came straight out. Wow. OK, that one forced itself out. Someone out here thought and bopping. Mm. Knight of Wands energy. Somebody's dealing with a Sagittarius. OK, then we have these hoes ain't loyal. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, Leo. So. <laughs> You guys have someone who you disconnected from most likely, um, who's out there maybe dealing with somebody else now. They realize that whoever they're dealing with does not compare to you, right? Um, I'm hearing nothing compares to you by Prince in my head, which I love that song. I'm not going to sing it, but I love that song. Um, so go ahead and listen to that. But yeah, so this person could be out there trying to find something better, but I mean... They already know it's not happening here. 
um, or maybe trying to find something to fulfill themselves, not saying to try something better. They may be trying to find something to keep their mind off of you or they got in another relationship with somebody and they realize that they don't have the loyalty that you have. OK. Um, yeah, they could also be in a relationship like some of you. I don't know. I'm getting the like. Mm. yeah just let it go it's been over this is definitely karmic so yeah this person could be in a karmic relationship that they need to let go of it's like dude when are you gonna grow up that's kind of what's happening here and if you're the one who's stuck in a karmic relationship leo i'm here to tell you it's time to evolve from that situation okay i see both sides head ass we get it gemini so you could be done with a gemini as well gemini tends to come out in leo's readings a lot so Let's see what some tarot has to say. I'm actually trying to make sure you guys can see the cards and I'm actually making it worse. Okay. So let's see what's going on for Leo. All right. So I don't know if it's you, Leo, or the person you're dealing with, to be honest with you. The King of Wands kind of, make, kind of makes his energy like a little hard to figure out. Might not be you, Leo, because the strength card is here telling me that you are, you got tapped. Yeah, you got, you're inside. Like, you're not outside right now, Leo. So this definitely could be somebody else's energy I'm picking up on. So let's see what's going on for Leo. You're not outside, Leo. You are minding your business with the strength card. What is going on for Leo? What is going on for Leo in love? What do they need to know? What is going on for my Leos? Make sure you guys like this, comment. All right, let me know what you guys think about this. We have the queen of pentacles, so they could be a earth sign and earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? They could be a cancer as well. All right, so this person feels like you're focused on your money, yep, eight of cups. This is somebody you walked away from, but it's kind of sideways. So I feel like this person feels like you didn't really want to walk away, but you had to. Um, yeah, I feel like you didn't really want to, but you had to. So you went out and you're maybe dating but I, they see you more as focused on your work, Leo. They see you more as focused on business or money. This person sees you as very focused on yourself, actually. All right. We have the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. This person's also holding back. They may also be going through some financial issues as well, especially if they're a Capricorn or a Cancer. That could be why they haven't reached out to you as well, because they're focused on the fact that their money isn't doing well. Yeah, a two of swords. So this is somebody who sees you as focused on your money, focused on yourself. OK, focused on your grind, Leo, focused on bettering yourself. OK, and they just have it in their mind that you're dating, too. So maybe some of you guys are you maybe you may be on dating sites. Maybe this person saw you in a dating site or. They just know you're dating. They feel like you've emotionally disconnected. And they're being stubborn as well with the four of pentacles of the two of swords. Okay. So some of you guys, it's a Libra, Cancer, Earth sign so far. Gemini as well. We did have fire signs as well with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So we've got a good bit of people here. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like you're folk. They want to give you a pentacle though. They want to give you an engagement, though, or like it's something about the way that you can focus on your grind, Leo, that it just does it for this person. They could be an earth sign. They could be a Virgo. Something about the way you move. I like the way you move. But it's something about your moves, like the way you handle your business, like you're out trying to get a bag, whether they're in your life or not. OK, they love that about you. And it makes them want to put a ring on it. It's like your independence. Yeah. Hmm. So they feel like you're not focused on them, but they're focused on you. Yeah. The seven of pentacles. They're tr still trying to see where this is going to go. If this person ain't an earth sign, y'all. Okay. Look at these pentacles. We got 11. Just 12 pentacles here. It's a lot of pentacles. This person wants to get money with you. This is somebody who wants to get money with you. Yeah. They're trying to see where this is going to go. They're not done with this, Leo. They're like, yeah, this is just on pause. So this person feels like this is just a pause. Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person could be with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius right now. They could be with somebody for, for financial reasons. They could be with somebody who's controlling. They're holding on to that situation as well. They're not letting that go. 
or it's just an outdated karmic connection that they need to let go of and they're not. They may also feel controlled by a third party. See, they may be dealing with somebody who's super dependent on them and that's why they really love the fact that you're doing your own thing regardless of whether or not you have someone or not. They have someone who's like super dependent and demanding of them. So let's see, what's this person's next actions towards Leo? What's this person's next actions towards Leo? Oh, okay. Okay. Y'all seen that, right? Okay. I'm just gonna, so y'all seen the card. It fell out. Hold on. Gotta get the card that fell on the floor. Give me a second. But y'all seen that four of wands, like just bust up out there, right? Okay. So the page of wands came out. So they want to communicate with you um, to get this off the ground. They're tr They're trying to get this started. They want a relationship with you. They want an engagement, a commitment. They will start off casual though. The page of wands. I feel like they're trying to see how you're feeling about them. So this could be in the next two weeks for some of you are six to eight weeks. Okay. Um, they're trying to see like how you're feeling. Okay. They're trying to see how they're, how you're feeling because I feel like this person, if you had cut this person off, Leo, or Whatever the case may be, if they cut you off, they thought they were going to be okay with it. I think that they went along with the idea that they were going to be okay with it for a while. or may, And they may even went back to an ex. They may even have went back to an ex or they already had someone lingering around. And so they're like, yeah, I got this person. I'm good. I ain't got to worry about Leo. But that's not the case, obviously, because you've seen that four of wands fly out by itself. And the page of wands also flew out. It like forced itself out. So their next actions is to message you. The page of wands usually to me is someone who already has your number. So this is like a person you already know. I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. I don't feel like this is somebody new. Okay. Lots of fire sign energy. Lots of earth energy here. Okay. They could have a couple air placements as well because we do have the queen of swords here. Only sign that I don't see is water. And Pisces is here with the hangman under the deck, but... There's no water energy here. I mean, Scorpio can be king of wands, so uh, I'll allow that. It could be a Scorpio. And the eight of cups was here, Cancer. So it's interesting. This person also respects the fact that you're able to detach as well. Like, you're able to focus on yourself. Like, they thought that they were the only one who can, like, emotionally detach like that. And you're like, oh, let me show you how I can get down. Like, you know, some of you guys might have an Aquarius moon and Western gang, like myself. But... Yeah, you had to show them like, yeah, I can boss up. I can do me. I don't need to like beg you, you know? So if you're wondering, as soon as I say there's no water signs, look, if you're wondering if you should reach out to someone and if you should essentially, I don't want to say beg, but do what you were doing before when it came to this person, I would say no, because whatever you're doing right now, which is honestly most likely focusing on yourself. And to be honest with you, Leo, with the queen of pentacles here, I feel like spirit is giving you no choice. You could also be going through some financial things that are making you, forcing you to not give as much to this connection or to literally turn your back to it. Okay. So I hope that this makes sense for you. Some of you guys out there, let me know what you think. Um, you don't have to take this person's offer if you don't want it. I mean, it's, not, you know, it's free will, but this is what came out. You know, I only can read the cards. I'm only the messenger. So if you want a personal reading with me, check out the link in the description box. I also am offering Leo's only readings where I go over your love life and your money for the next 30 days. I have 15 minute and 10 minute phone readings. They're really um, a great way to support the channel. And anything else you need from me will be in the description box. Oh yeah, before I forget, we are shipping the sale this weekend. We are shipping, we're starting shipping this weekend. So if you ordered anything from the moving sale, like my candles or my oils, we are starting to ship this weekend. Please be patient with us. I got a lot of orders so I'm trying to make sure I take my time so I don't have to sit here and ship other things out because I forgot things. Uh, we're also waiting on a couple things to come in over the next few days. So we will start shipping. Look out for your tracking. If you don't get your tracking by the end of this week coming up, then reach out. Um, this is the last day for the sale. I mean, this weekend is the last day for the sale. So on Sunday, I will be shutting down the product site just so I can get caught up. And then I may reopen it again Um but yeah, thank you guys so much for your support and I will talk to you next time. Please comment, like, and share. Bye.